What do you think is the biggest mistake that the average investor makes? Is it selling too soon or, or not going with the right group? Or what, what do you think the average investor's biggest mistake is? I, I think the hardest part is um, giving money to people who don't know what they're doing. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm always amazed at that. Um, I'll always meet with people I went to high school with or college and I'll ask them what they're doing their money and they'll tell me, I'm like, oh my God, that's, I would never do that. Like, put it into a fund or do this. What about your basketball players? I mean, basketball players aren't famous for being great investors, I don't no. think, but maybe, they, maybe yours are good. No, it's the same thing. I mean, you would be shocked. It's exactly what you said. So I spent a lot of time with them explaining where they should invest. You know, uh, Giannis had a great line. He was, <laughs> he was at our house one day and we were talking about investing. And he said, um, <clears throat> He goes, where do you keep your money? I said, well, my money's at J.P. Morgan. Um, I go, where do you keep yours? He goes, oh, 50 different banks. I was like, what do you mean 50 banks? He goes, 50 banks. Because you have, it, I do it up to the insured amount. And so I got to make sure my money's insured. And part of that is because he's from Greece. He was worried about banks going under. I'm like, Giannis you can't be like having accounts at 50 different banks. Like, let me tell you something, if JP Morgan goes under, your little dinky banks are gonna go right. under too. Like, let me explain what you should buy. You should buy US treasuries, you should buy this. And it's, it actually was fascinating. Just, um, you know, I, you, you've got to spend time with them for them to understand all this.